Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming and I am super excited about the project we're going to be doing today because I haven't done anything like this in a super long time <laughs> and I'm all about mixing it up as much as possible. Um, so today we're going to be making a beautiful farmhouse looking tray into a piece of art that is going to have this amazing barn on it. And it's, it's going to be super cool. Anyways, as you were hopping on, say hello. Let me know I'm not standing in my craft room this afternoon talking to my cell phone and no one else. Um, feel free to sprinkle. Feel free to ask questions at the very end if you want a link to this. And I'll tell you all about when it will be available because it's not available. If you're watching live, it will be available on Wednesday, the 11th of October. Um, so I'll tell you all about that too. Okay, so let me start at the beginning. We are using one of these awesome trays that come from MagnoliaDIY.com and they're pretty, really pretty, just like this. They have um, rope handles. They're gorgeous on both sides. This is beautiful wood, but I wanted it to look a, a, a little lighter for my decor. So, and I happen to have two of these on hand. So, what I did was I used some of this plaster paint. It's Waverly from Walmart. One coat. And I turned my tray into this. And I did, I did um, kind of a sloppy dry brush technique where I didn't, you know, I didn't make sure that everything was completely painted solidly. And then I used my little mini sanding block that I got from Amazon that I'm loving this thing just to um, smooth it out and also to, you know, emphasize that the wood is sort of distressed, if that made sense. Okay, so it was one coat of plaster and then my sander, and then, because I know I was going to be stenciling on it, I went outside and I gave it two light coats of this Rust-Oleum, two times ultra clear, ultra cover, sorry, matte clear sprayer. Spray, it's, it's like a, a matte sealer, and the thing is, with wood, whether it's left natural, stained, or painted, it has pores and it wants to suck in whatever medium you're putting on it and then kind of spread it out just like <gasps> ladies lipstick um so my dad's mom we called her mamu she's the sweetest lady ever gosh i wish she was still living because i would so love to have a conversation with her anyways she would always wear dark lipstick and you know how it kind of creeps up those lines around your mouth um <laughs> Well, that's kind of what wood does, is it sucks in the medium and then it spreads it out, unless you either use a clear wax or you use a clear matte sealer spray before you stencil. This is what I almost always choose if the weather is good enough that I can go outside, okay? You cannot spray this in the house. So, those were the steps that I took, and we are going to be stenciling just using black chalk paste, but you could do this barn and the field and the fence and the weather vane and the barn doors in whatever color you love. Um, but we're going to do it in black chalk paste. And then I will go outside after it's completely dry and I will spray it once or twice more. And then I'll probably put it in an easel as like a little a piece of art. Okay, let me move my tray out of the way. You guys look at this stencil. I think it's 15 by 15. And I don't have enough room on my tray to do the country living. But, um, and I think I'm going to actually cut that just to make it easier. But um, it would be gorgeous. And you could just use the country living on um, projects too. Or you can use the whole thing together. It's just that this tray... I think they said it was 12 by 18 
So it's 12 inches this way, 18 inches that way. So it, it's not going to accommodate that big of a stencil. So what do you guys think so far? And I know I um, I am never afraid to cut a stencil to make it easier to use. But whenever I do, people sometimes get upset. They're like, oh my gosh, why did you cut your stencil? Well, it doesn't make it so I can't use it. It just makes it a little easier to handle sometimes. Lisa says that she loves this stencil. Oh my gosh, me too. Okay, so I've never used it. It's brand new. You saw me pull it out of the plastic. And I'm going to use it on wood that I've painted. So I want to fuzz, 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 fuzz this little puppy because it will be super sticky. And I want to make sure that I don't pull up my paint and also that I don't stretch my stencil out the first time I'm using it. You know what I mean? So I am fuzzing on this right here. It's called a tacky towel. That's what it's designed for. And this side is great for patting your stencils dry after you've used them. Um, but I could also fuzz like on a t-shirt, which I made this t-shirt with one of the craft club stencils from several months ago. Isn't it cute? And I did a cute little thing with the sleeve. Um, when I don't want it to get bolted over on itself either. Sometimes that happens. If the stencil's been used a few times and fuzzed really well, then you can usually gently kind of pull the two sides apart. But if it's brand spanking new and you get it folded over on itself, it can be hard to get it up, to get it disconnected. You might be thinking, wow, Heidi, you're going to town with this fuzzing business. And I am. Okay, one more and then we'll say good. I love this stencil. So, what style is this? Well, you can't see it on that. Sorry. Um, I would describe it. I was talking to my friend earlier, and I said, "What? What would you describe this style?" Um, and we kind of talked about its country, its farmhouse, its rustic. It could honestly be. It's an amazing barn. I love old barns. Um, but you could do this barn red. There's so many things you could do with it. Uh, that I wouldn't say it's necessarily one, side, one style and not another. I'm just trying to get it relatively centered. Okay, and let me tell you one thing. My surface here is not completely smooth because it's wood and it's like a rustic tray. And even though I sanded it a little bit before I painted it and then after, it's still kind of bumpy. So sometimes when you have that, you don't get as crisp of a stencil impression, but I'm thinking in this instance, that might be kind of cool because that might make it look even more rustic. Okay. So, like I said, we're going to just use black chalk paste, but if you're doing this project or anything else with, with this beautiful stencil, you can use whatever colors you would like. And you could do this, it could be on fabric, it, could, it would be beautiful on a pillow, oh my goodness, I would totally love it on a pillow. So I just put a couple blobs, and I'm using one of these small cut apart squeegees. And I'm going to pull my chalk paste through the holes in my stencil. I'm going to get the globs up and then I'm going to stop. I'm not going to keep going over and over and over and over it. I just want to make sure that I get everything covered. And, um, And then I stop. <laughs> that's, that's the hard part for me. 
just to make myself stop. I don't want to go outside my lines. So this is chalk paste. And um, if you don't seal it with a clear matte sealer spray and you want to redo your tray down the road, you could wash the chalk paste off. It's probably going to stain some white paint a little bit. But you could wash it off and give your tray a little bit uh, a paint job, you know, just a little bit paint, then you could make this tray into something completely different. And um, that reminds me, I want to show you what else is coming out on Wednesday. So this, if you're watching live, um, today's Monday the 9th, I think. <laughs> it comes out on these uh, release on Wednesday. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm going to peek. I'm going to hope that I don't pull up any of my paint, that everything's okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You should see how cute this weather vane is. Oh. Holy moly. Okay, let me throw this over here in my tub of water. I'm going to be using this stencil. It is spectacular. Wipe off my hands. Holy, holy, holy cow! <gasps> this is beautiful. Look how amazing that is. I am thrilled with it. Okay, so. Now what I need to do is I need to step away and don't, um, don't bother it. I'll give it at least an hour or longer and then I will take it outside and I'm going to give it another coat or two of this clear matte sealer spray and then it will be permanent. But here's the thing. I'm not going to, if say I wanted to use it for like a tray to serve food. I'm not going to put wet food on paint from Walmart and on the top of ch a chalk paste stencil design, even if it's sealed. Um, if you want it, if you if you seal it good, you could, you know, put some things in little glass dishes if you wanted to use it like almost as a tray to serve food. But I think this would be spectacular. Let me take something apart over here. This was another project that I did quite a while ago that was turned out amazing. And this is a gorgeous stencil. This is Psalm 121 verses 1 to 2. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. That is a beautiful stencil too. Um, and I am only showing you that because I want to use this easel. So this is one of these $3 easels that you can get from Dollar Tree. They, they come natural wood, and I just painted this. And it looks like I used plaster, which is my favorite color. And I could just put my beautiful tray on here, and um, it would be gorgeous. So, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if you would like my complete supply list. I'll include, you know, everything that, um, the little sander, the name of the paint, um, what this stuff is and where you get it, uh, the link to this stencil, you know, I'll include all the pertinent stuff. Hmm, somebody says my live is not working. I'm not sure. Maybe your internet has has cut out because mine looks fine. Uh, Brenda, I'll get you the supply list ASAP. Anyways, so this beautiful stencil will release on Wednesday, October 11th, 2023. It'll be available and Wednesday, October 
11 actually starts at 12.01, just a minute after midnight. So if you are super eager, and I'm thinking this, this beautiful stencil will definitely sell out. If you are super eager and you live out west where 12.01 in the middle of the night, Eastern time is only 9 p.m., you might want to get up um, and place an order. I want to show you something else real quick. And then I'll show you all this other new stuff separately. But this also will be releasing on Wednesday. It'll be available this Wednesday, the 11th, which is 12 01 midnight. And this would be gorgeous on this tray as well. This, let me take it out of the plastic because you can't see how amazing it is when it's in the plastic and you have all the glare. This is called Christmas Trees. And Magnolia used to have a beautiful design called Merry Christmas that they don't have anymore. And it had some letters that looked like this, old fashioned. But look how pretty that is. So, Wednesday. Um, anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this project. Um, this one stencil could be super useful if you like to make Christmas gifts for friends and family and you have people in your life that love a farmhouse or love country or love rustic or love old barns, you know, that kind of thing you could make some fabulous gift items for not a ton of money. This tray here is available on my website right now. The chalk paste is available on my website right now. And I'll include those links um, if you ask me for my supply list or complete supply list or recipe or whatever. But anyways, I am thrilled. Look at that, look at the weather vane. I swear, well I don't swear, but <laughs> I, um, I am telling you guys that sanding the surface of this wood uh, after it was painted and then using clear matte sealer spray makes all the difference in the world in what kind of a stencil impression you're gonna get. So. Do they have a stencil for a barn quilt? Not exactly, but they do have a beautiful one. Let me show you. And I have plans. I have a plan for what I'm going to do with this. And I just bought this round at Hobby Lobby. This is, um, I can't remember what this is called. I think it's called tiles or something. It could sort of resemble a patchwork quilt. And it's, it's a beautiful stencil. That one's available now. And it will be available on Wednesday, too. Yes, Wanda's asking. Well, I'm not Magnolia. I'm, I'm Heidi Scott, DIY Dreaming. But I am a, a creator with the company. I do represent them. And um, they do bring out stencils at the beginning of the season every Wednesday um, for, you know, several weeks. And it's kind of fun because every Wednesday it's something new. And this Wednesday they have some really good ones that will be coming out. That I'm including this one that I'm super excited about. Okay, okay, doing this or this or say something to me. Take a second to see if you've liked and followed this page and turned on your notifications. And um, I will get close-up pictures after everything's dry. I don't want to risk messing anything up. And I will get to everybody all the supply list, including the link to the page where this new stencil will pop up at 12.01, a minute after midnight, Tuesday night, tomorrow night. So. 
Yeah, Helga says she loves the stencil with the Christmas trees. Me too. It's gorgeous. All right, I've flapped enough. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys later. Bye. How many new stencils? Usually it's like between five and eight new ones every. Yes, you could buy, get the barn by itself, but it has this at the bottom of it that says country living. I just didn't have enough room on this board to do those words. But you don't have to buy um, the Christmas trees. You, there's no package. Each thing is available individually on Wednesday, which is Tuesday evening at 12.01 Eastern Time. Alrighty. Have a blessed and wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you guys later.